Hi, hello friends, welcome to another episode of Dumb Luck. Uh, it's, uh, it's Brownloaf here, or uh, to give me my full title today, Brownloaf from the future, because uh, time travel has come to Dumb Luck. I have traveled back in time from the future, uh, because past Brownloaf, unfortunately, uh, having done a, a, a pretty good intro, uh, discovers that he hasn't actually pressed record. So um, I've done, <laughs> I've done the actual gameplay i've done the debrief i've done all that and i'm now traveling back in time uh to to re-record the introduction um so yeah that's great time travel is exciting um i guess i guess uh i guess a reasonable question would be why not just travel back in time and uh make sure i record it the first time um yeah i guess that's a reasonable question uh i guess, well i suppose i suppose that could create like a paradox uh i don't know i don't know i mean I'm, you know, do you know what the, the the day i've had <laughs> the last thing i need is a, is a time paradox so probably the the best idea is to do this um i guess what i could do if uh assuming i could travel through time which i, I haven't actually traveled through time spoiler alert um i i suppose i could travel back in time and then hide somewhere in the room and film myself doing the intro and then um and then just put that in there uh which would be a really weird weird start to an episode wouldn't it if, if, if like it was just just me from a different angle and uh it had a sort of caption at the bottom uh, sorry about the weird angle i've had to travel back in time to record this introduction i didn't want to i didn't want to cause a paradox so uh anyway there we go um what am I going on about? Okay, yeah, so I have already done this. So, I, so yeah, this is this is an introduction, uh, a retrospective introduction. Now, it's a bit of a challenge because I, I, I want to get through this introduction without revealing what happened in the in the actual gameplay. So I'm going to have to be a little bit straight-laced here and just sort of say uh, I, I love Blood on the Altar. Uh, we, we have mixed success uh, on it so far. The, the the Zoe play is in my top five plays. If you go to the playlist and check out my top five plays, I love that. Uh, bear in mind, top five plays doesn't necessarily mean it was a success, but but there we go. Uh, and then um, and then Rex and Jim, uh, yeah, they, they they had an all right time there as well. Okay, so anyway, we're on to Ashcan. We've got one experience to spend, <laughs> which which I've already done. Um, so I already know what these cards are. So I, I was kind of faced with two options here. Um, I could either uh, pretend that I hadn't done this and just do it again and act surprised, or I could, or I could tell you. Um, and then I thought of a third option because <clears throat> um, I don't know about you, but do you ever do you ever wonder if you're any good an actor? Um, I often wonder if I could have ever been a decent actor. Uh, I mean, I'm a teacher, so that you kind of have to act a bit to do that. So what I thought I would do is I thought I would do the reveal. Uh, even though I know what these two cards are, this is the card going in and this is the card going out. Um, but what I'm going to try and do is, I, is I'm, I'm going to do it as if I didn't know. Now, I'm not going to do this uh, f for jokes. I'm not going to try and be funny about it. Um, I'm actually going to see if I can if I can do it. Let's see if I can actually do a, do a good, good act reveal. Um, so let me know how I get on. <laughs> right, okay, so here we go. Your brown loaf, you are, uh, you, you're about to reveal. Okay, let's get ready to go. Okay, guys, so we've got one experience uh, to upgrade. Um, we, that was a pity experience, by the way. That's because we did so badly in the train. Um, so let's see what we get. Uh, what sort of thing would we like? Um, <laughs> um, well, I'll tell you what are good cards. Those, I could already, <laughs> I could already tell the acting's bad. <laughs> I could already tell it's bad. Okay, hang on, start again. <clears throat> I'll tell you it'll be great is those uh, those one pip skill tests, you know, like brute force that could come in really, really handy. Um, yeah, there's a few cards. Anyway, let's let's have a look and see what it is. Here we go. What card have we got? Um, oh, okay. <laughs> it's test of will. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, it's test of will. Uh, oh, right. Okay. We really like test of will. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's scrap this. I can't act. Um, what, a, what a great card this is. Um, when I first did my reveal, uh, I'm breaking the fourth wall now, which I think is an acting term. I think I think I've used that correctly. Um, when I first uh, discovered this, I, I I played around with a couple of ideas of what it might be useful. But luckily, uh, the brown loaf from the past who played the gameplay uh, suddenly remembered something good about this card in this particular scenario. So he will mention it then. Okay, uh, but this is a great addition. Um, 
yeah, really, really good card. I played this loads with Calvin. Classic Calvin card. Um, and yeah, I also asked the question, uh, I wonder if this actually is Ashcan Pete in the art? Because it could be, you know. It could be. You can't really tell what he's got in his bottom half. I mean, obviously he's got jeans. Um, but yeah, he's got the same sort of hat. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe that's him. Okay, should we give the acting another go? Uh, right, so what cards would I really not like to see leave the deck? Um, well, what have I got in there that's good? Uh, I really like the Unexpected Courage. That's very, very good indeed. Um, oh, let's, just, let's just see what it is. Okay, here we go. What card is going out the deck? Ah, oh, now that is a bit of a shame. We ought to survive. Um, now, was it the... I think it's the museum where this card... I mean, it's expensive, but it is essentially an auto success uh, unless <laughs> unless you play at a time you're going to fail anyway. At which point, you should really question whether that's a good idea or not. Um, it's a very expensive, conditional auto success. Uh, so yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not very happy to see that going out. Right, I feel like I sold that one a lot better than I sold that one. That was, I think it's because I was, I, was, I was focusing less. Maybe that's the secret to good acting. Okay, wow, here's something weird. Two events, both spirit traded, both with the word will in it. And that is, that I didn't spot last time. So that's quite fascinating, isn't it? Anyway, uh, we're going off to uh, Blood on the Altar, um, which uh, is, a, is a personal fave of mine. Um, and uh, yeah. When I say goodbye now, the timeline will be restored and you will see me uh, attempting Blood on the Altar with my test of will and my lack of uh, will to survive. <laughs> Apologies for that, I'll see you there. All right, all right, all right, let's get to it. So, um, wow, we are back in Blood on the Altar and uh, I've got to say, this this scenario has, has just grown on me so much. Um, maybe it's because we had that really fun play at uh, Horror Without Borders, uh, but all three of the plays so far, despite their varying levels of uh, success, I suppose you could say, um, have just been blasts, absolute blasts. Um, so, uh, my upgrade, Tester Will, how could I not, how could I not remember the most devilish uh, villain of the week card that this scenario throws up, which is Kidnapped, because uh, I cannot think of a better way to spend one XP than to cancel a Kidnapped. Kidnapped, which has produced some of the most terrifying moments of dumb luck so far. Um, why has it? Well, let's uh, let's talk about what this scenario can do, uh, and let's talk about what it specifically can do to Pete. So um, we all know that there is a card in the deck called uh, Kidnapped, and it can make you. Well, it throws <laughs> it throws your unique allies into the lottery uh, of uh, sacrifice. Um, so we've already got five. We've already got five contestants. Uh, a couple of which we've met. Uh, three of which um, are we've, well, one we've heard of. Two we have seen. You know, so many times during the campaign, but we are yet to grab Z or Earl. Um, hoping to get one of those this time round. But of course. <laughs> Of course, with Pete there is an added jeopardy uh, because you can, of course, uh, lose Duke. Uh, you can get Bloodhound on the altar. Uh, but, you know, as if that's not bad enough, I've also got Pete Sylvester, who I don't really want to see sacrificed, um, or and the Red Gloved Man. How bad would that be? Um, so, yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a little bit scared. Um, however, you know, I'm scared. I'm not brave. I'll tell you, it is brave. Uh, I mentioned the Horror Without Borders event. Uh, there was a, a guy uh, called Philion, Philion, Philion. I think his name is. He does. He, he does. He's got a Twitch channel. Um, he, he's around the community, and he did a run of Dunnage with uh, two-handed uh, with Ashcan and Rex, and he went for that um, achievement where you win it, but. Duke ends up getting sacrificed on the altar. Uh, and not only that, but he managed to do it, uh, well, he, he attempted it uh, within two hours. I won't say whether he did it or not, although I've kind of given it away. Um, but yeah, that was just one of the most crazy things I've ever seen. So if you want to see someone who's really got a really well planned out deck and plays well and makes strategic thoughts and, and so on, then 
check him out. If you're uh, happy just to watch uh, sort of the clown car with with the wheels falling off uh, and me j screaming, then uh, then then you're in the right place. Okay. Oh, let's look at our map. So I'll tell you what I've forgotten. What I always forget is uh, a dice to get rid of one of these random locations. I'll tell you what, we'll do it a different way. I've got the uh, I've got the um, the alternative uh, location, so I'll get rid of one of these at random. Uh, so there we go. I will I will take the the fourth card once I've finished uh, shuffling. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, and it is Bishop's Brook, which is going. There we go. That is a that's a lot of connections we've just lost. We've got a, we've got a nasty little cul-de-sac here. Uh, not that cul-de-sacs are nasty. I live in a cul-de-sac, but uh, for this particular scenario, it's less than ideal. Um, yeah, I <laughs> I don't know if you've played Return to Dunnage, but one thing they changed about this scenario is they they changed this business into this, like that, okay? And I can't help thinking whether that, whether that was a, the original plan, because it's a bit of a mad, um, it's a bit of a mad map, isn't it? Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe not, maybe it's just me. Um, okay, right, let's go then, let's chuck that under there. So, um... While we're, while we're on the subject, while, we, while, we, while we've got a minute, um, this has got a bit of a reputation for being a bit swingy, a bit lucky, this um, this scenario, uh, because we're looking for these two things. But actually, I think that's a little bit unfair. I think you... Okay, that's a new one. Uh, my phone rang then, uh, and I used my phone for recording, so that completely interrupted uh, what I was saying. Um, I have absolutely no idea what I was saying, and I can't really bother to rewind. Uh, I think I said something about it being a lucky scenario, um, and yeah, I think I think my point was. I remember my point now. My point was, you've got a ten percent chance of finding the two desired cards uh, in the first two locations. That is lucky. Uh, however, people consider themselves unlucky if uh, one of them is, is 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 the fifth one you come across. But actually, here's a bit of maths for you. That is forty percent of the time, which uh, I don't think you can complain when something happens forty percent of the time. So uh, yeah, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get neutral luck. Anyway, let's get down to it. We've, we start with doom because. Um, of the unfortunate train incident uh let's see what we get to our opening hand you ready duke let's get ready to go you 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 stay close duke well we've got against all odds oh, which is which is nuts um dig deep might be good to keep uh especially as we don't really have anything else personally it's way too early for perseverance oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i discovered something and how i don't what i don't understand is how i didn't notice this before but if you get sucked out the back of a train um, it, apparently you don't get any trauma. You just get defeated and it, it says in the rules reference that if you if it doesn't specifically say anything then you don't specifically do it. So there we go. Um, right, where was I? Um, okay, I think I will keep Unexpected Courage because uh, there are a few better cards. Um, I'm not uh, yeah, okay, I'll keep Dig Deep as well, and I'll, I'll, I'll mulligan the other three. Uh, there's Survival Instinct, that could be a good card in this scenario. There's Stroke of Light, always a good card. Um, uh, that's never a good card. Uh, and there we go, Relentless Assault, which is uh, which, <laughs> which would be great uh, if we weren't so sane. If we weren't oozing with sanity, right? Okay, right. Good luck then, Ashcan. Let's uh, let's 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 do this one. Let's do this one for the professors. Here we go. So we're in the village. Comments. I'm already destroying the map. Uh, good luck. Right. Okay. So um, where should we go? I think maybe we'll head to the cooler sack first because that's a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? So first action, we'll go to the congregation church. We will not investigate. We'll read it. See what it says. Uh, choosing to discard a card from your hand to gain two resources. Yeah. I wonder what that means. I mean, is that you, you're stealing money out of the uh, the collection. Oh, shocking! Right, we will then move into the burned ruins. Uh, let's see what we get here. Oh my god, that's not good news. Is it three clues? Um, oh yeah, this is the one that if you fail, you can you can flip one of them to the doom side. So either way, um, we are reducing the number of clues. Uh, in fact, failing is pretty good here. You could do this on the twilight. Um, the witching hour it's absolutely banging it's not the witching hour so we just we're just gonna do it okay here we go we have four on uh two there's our first pass and we won't ready duke we'll just play dig deep get it down get it ready uh let's that's good okay a reasonable first turn here we go let's carry on then uh we have got um is it dark in here it feels dark but i don't i'm not doing anything different anyway okay there we go. uh survival instinct 
Uh, we have, we're, we're twice, we've got twice the survival instinct we normally do. Let's have a look. Uh, sordid and silent. Uh, this, okay, this is where if we end our turn here, we're going to take the horror, which really sucks, to be honest. Um, yeah, yeah, it does. Okay, right, anyway, let's go for it. So, Duke, investigating. We are investigating two, four on two. Let's have it. Four on two. That is the, uh, what is that? <laughs> is that the students? No, it's not the students, is it? Oh, that's from Necronomicon. Minus three if you fail place one doom on the cult agenda. Uh-oh. Uh, I think we're sticking around, aren't we? Let's, we will chuck a, um, a re reckless assault to ready Duke and we investigate again. So we are four on two again. Uh, that's it. That's a clue. And then for our third action, we shall. What shall we do? Um, I don't know. What shall we do? Do we want? Do we want to move out? Um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, it's only one order, isn't it? No, let's move out. Let's move out. Okay, right. So upkeep. Uh, we get a Monster Slayer. Mm, okay, right. We get a resource, and we're already up to four Doom, which is just bananas. Uh, Psychopop song, this is, this is horrendous. Um, when you would take one or more damage, take two additional damage and discard this card. This card has done such disastrous things to me in the past. Not only that, it's only got Blooming Surge as well, and there's Ancient Evils. Wow. Okay, the, uh, <laughs> the agenda is about to advance. Uh, one good thing about that is we don't really care whether we pass this test or not. Oh, hang on a minute. I, I failed the test, didn't I? Did I? I... Okay, it was optional because it's a reaction trigger, not forced. Okay, so if that if I did that, that was a misplay. Here we go. So first action, I will investigate Duke. So this time, I really don't mind advancing. Uh... Yeah, I'd actually fail this. So am I wasting my time using Duke here? Maybe I am. Hmm. But then it costs an action to do it, doesn't it? So we can move in. We could. Oh, let's just do it. Stop. Stop mucking around. <laughs> uh, right, what's that? That's the students, or it could be Adam Lynch. Uh, that's minus two. So that's a pass. Right, okay, so that's my first action. Right, we are flipping because we want to flip and get out of here. Here we go. Uh, oh, what remains? Brute. Brutal stuff here. Um, so we've got a willpower four. <sighs> okay, let's, let's spend one on Dig Deep. We are going one, two, three, four, five on three. Uh, that is, oh god, that's a failure too, so I take two horror, so I'm now desperate. I will put it on myself, so I'm desperate. So what have I done? First action, I investigated, didn't I? Uh, and that's now done. So second action, I will... Pum, pum, pum. I'm going to get rid of Monster Data Ray Duke. Second action... Yes, I will investigate the Congregational Church. Four, one, two. Seems good. Uh, that's not good. Uh, oh, great. What should I do for my third action? It's, still, it's not worth wasting unexpected courage on it. Um, oh, I don't know. Uh, I, can't even, I can't really duke. I can't really do anything, can I? Should I draw a card? Let's draw a card. Uh, okay, perseverance. That's wicked. Right, okay, so upkeep. Boom. Scavenging. Not, not, not much going on there. Uh, resource. Okay, and the sixth theme gets... Oh, living added already. That goes. Let's see what happens. Uh, there, are, there are three or more potential sacrifices. Choose one of them and put them underneath the agenda deck. Okay. Someone is gone. Who is it? Oh, will it be Big Z? Will it be Barmy Army? Oh, will it be Franco? Oh, I just got. To... <laughs> it's just, it's just awful. This, isn't it? Right. Okay. Uh, let's get the uh, next Mythos card, and it is another rotting remains. Okay, that's that's not great at all. So we will boost ourselves twice here. Um, I guess I could commit perseverance, but I'm not doing that. So we are six on three this time. Six on three uh, as a pass. A uh, waste of a couple of resources, but there we go. Right. Let's get this blooming clue. So first action, we will. Um, Yes. Yeah, okay, first action we investigate, we are four on two. Come on, let's have it. Four on two. Skulls are now minus three, which isn't great. Uh, that's a zero, that is great, so that's my first action. Second, uh, no, so for a free action, free trigger, we will flip this card. Oh, it's the key! 
great stuff here. Okay, so House on the Reed. So what could we discard to ready Duke? I don't feel like we're going to be doing any scavenging here, so we're ready Duke. Second action, we'll investigate the House on the Reed. Ah, oh, yes, look at that. Oh, no, okay, I, I always do this, don't I? Oh, it's the Night Gaunt again. So it's got a uh, Shroud of One. It's got one clue. We've got to add a Night Gaunt to the Village Commons, which... Um, as I've said before, we could at this point work out what the other cards are underneath, uh, but I don't know if we're going to bother doing that, are we? Can you see one Night Gaunt? There is only one Night Gaunt, that means there's a Night Gaunt underneath one of those cards, one of those locations, which is definitely worth remembering. Oh, okay, you weren't expecting that sort of insight, were you? Right, okay, so um, what have we done here? We've taken one action, this is our second action, we're investigating, and we are a, a healthy four on one. Let's see what we get. Uh, that's another pass, we've got an action left. Oh, I'm tempted to flip. I am tempted to flip. Because we've got an action left. Uh, what if it is the hunting night gaunt? Well, this this hunting night gaunt is not going to wait around, is it? So let's let's do it. Oh, it's the chamber. Oh my goodness me. Okay, so we've got an action left. Uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna have to take a good old pause here and have a little think for a minute. Well, here's a how do you do. We seem to be in a pretty good position. Um, I've got one action left. I'm obviously not going to go in there now because that'd just be just straight out taking a smack for no reason um but it doesn't feel like a time to do anything too silly so uh i'm going to possibly draw a card or possibly gain a resource resources are normally not not great but uh i've then got dig deep and i've got uh, survival instinct for example so I can evade and then just bite, bite, and then hopefully do it again. Hunting Night Gaunt is going to take uh, two turns to get there after this action. I'm going to take a resource. Unbelievable scenes. Right, okay, here we go. So, uh, upkeep. Yoink. Ready that. Let's see what we get as our card. It's a knife. I mean, that's not ridiculous. We gain a resource. We get a doom. Let's see what it is. It's hunting down. If there are no unengaged criminals in play this game, surge. As far as we know, the Night Gaunt is completely law abiding. Oh, eager for death. This isn't great. Test willpower two. Increase uh, the difficulty by one for each damage on you. Well, me, there's no damage on me, so that's pretty nice. Uh, so it's just a willpower test four on two. Uh, and currently skulls are minus two. That's an interesting one, isn't it? I don't want to waste the perseverance. I don't, I don't, I don't want to waste too much money. I'll, I will waste a little bit of money there to go six on two. If you fail, take two horror. Yeah, two horror would be a lot at the moment, I have to say. So here we go. Uh, and it's a minus one, so it's pass. All right. Okay. It's game time. So I am moving in. Um... And then uh, straight out attacking. I'm not going to bother going for clues. That's just not going to happen. That does mean we'll get a conglomeration of spheres. Uh, but, that's all right. I can live with that. Um, Duke eats conglomerations of spheres for breakfast. But I think we're good to go. I think we're going straight in. There's no reason not to, is there? I guess I could play my knife. Ah, there's no need. There's no need. I need to play a knife. Right, okay, I'm going to move in and therefore advance the axe. I'll just pause. All right, there we go. So we had a clue here, we had a clue here. So, I mean, there's not an unreasonable number of clues there, but uh, we're not going for it. That would just take um, Pete far too long, even with Duke's help. Um, so we are fighting. We are fighting. We are biting. Um, yeah, Silas Bishop. So here we go. We'll be doing a load of combat checks. Uh, we'll be four on uh, three, which is a bit rubbish. The question is, do we try and evade him first? Um, and what is the answer to that question? The answer to that question is, I don't know. Um, you'd think in the time that I paused that that's exactly what I've been thinking about, but I haven't. I quite like the idea of not evading this time round. Do I like that idea? I do like that idea. Well, look, I've taken one action. Let's just have a, have, a, have a nip with Duke. 
uh, and we're chucking unexpected courage. Uh, so we are a big old six on three. The skulls are still against us. Oh yes they are, skulls are still against us. Six on three, that's a minus two, that's two damage. Oh man, I'm tempted to just keep on biting. Keep on biting. Or should I play the knife? No, don't play the knife. Um, right, okay, now let's discard. Uh, oh, I don't think I need to do two survival instincts. So I'll ready Duke and I will use the knife to give me a little bit of a push. So this is five on three. Uh, oh, boom! That was <laughs> nice. We like that a lot. <laughs> Oh man, if we had another action, we could uh, we could eat him now. All right, good. That's the end of that turn. So we do. We, okay, we're about to take a huge, uh, huge wallop from this guy. First, he's going to deal me two horror. Uh, so I will put both of those on Duke. Sorry, Duke. Um, and then he is going to do two damage, which actually get, turns into four damage. Three of which will go on me, and one of which will go on Duke. Maybe I should have evaded. Hmm. Who knows? Right. Uh, the hunting night gaunt is there. There we go, there is our timer. We have one turn to make this happen. Uh, upkeep, scrounge for supplies. I'm sure we can find something we want there. Uh, gain a resource, we get a doom. Let's see what we've got. It is a mobster and he is engaged with us. Um, what does that mean? That just adds an extra bit of time constraint. It means we can't take... Um, <laughs> I've just noticed something. I don't know why I'm even worrying about this. Uh, I. It means we can't take uh, actions. Uh, Silas Bishop doesn't do a tax opportunity. The mobster does, though. <sighs> what I have just noticed is that I've got stroke of luck. So we could just go for this now. Duke, you up for it? <sighs> okay, we will attack with Duke. Uh, no, we will attack without Duke. No, 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 that makes no sense at all. We'll attack with Duke uh, and we will commit stroke of luck. So we are five on three. Now in an ideal world, we won't exile Stroke of Luck. However, we will gladly do it if it means we win this scenario. This is it, this is it, so it comes down to. Let's have it. Oh no, look, one of my, uh, one of my tokens has fallen apart. I'm gonna have to pause and, re and rebuild that because that's uh, there's no way I'm picking okay, it up. It's a minus four, so I've, uh, I've replaced it with a decent one. So I'll uh, just pop these back in, just to increase the tension a little bit. My goodness, my goodness, 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 goodness. What do we do if we pull the elder, the uh, auto trail here? Let's cross that bridge when we come to it. Here it is. We are fighting with Duke. We are five on three. Yes, please. Oh, it's the students. What have the students got to say? The students have got to say, oh, <laughs> students have got to say minus two. And if you're in the hidden chamber, we get another token. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh oh. This, one, this I don't like. Skull. Okay, so we failed by a million. However, I hate to do it. Uh... I hate to do it, but we will get four experience, so I can buy it back immediately. We'll exile, uh, stroke of luck, and that becomes an auto pass. So uh, that's it, Silas. You're dead, Silas. In your face. That's six damage. Wicked. So we have advanced the um, we've advanced the act. Silas Bishop defeated R1. Boom. There we go. Right. That was all right, wasn't it? Um, yeah. You know what I was saying at the start about luck? Probably is quite a big factor. Uh, shall we see what was underneath the other locations? So Osborne's General Store, which had a low shroud and, uh, and only one clue. Uh, oh, it was Servant of Many Mouths. A lovely, lovely servant with many mouths. Uh, so this must have been a hunting night gaunt. It was a hunting night gone. Wow, look at that. Fascinating, fascinating stuff. Okay, good, right. Well, here's an interesting thing. We are going to have allies for days, and not only that, we've got charisma. So this is just going to be this is just going to be like like Pete and just he's surrounded by mates. It's like a, it's like an ensemble cast. Right, okay. Uh, I will save the flipping of that card uh, for the debrief. <laughs> Oh, I'm right, straight into it, I think. Let's not, uh, let's not be around the bush. Uh, well, great, great fun. Really, really enjoyed that. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm going to start doing Hero and Villain of the Week, which is something that I've 
just quite frankly stolen from uh, the Lost Boys podcast, uh, but I thought it'd be quite fun to do it. Hero of the Week, absolutely no doubt whatsoever. Uh, it's Duke. He was uh, superb. He did it everything right there. Um, really, really chuffed with that. Um, yeah, good boy. Good boy. Um, Villain of the Week was probably uh, the Necronomicon, uh, the little little symbol that pulled out there. Um, although, to be fair, it added a doom. It wasn't the end of the world. Um, well, I say it wasn't the end of the world. I've got a feeling this person right here might feel somewhat differently. So this is our one sacrifice. We blooming blew food at, didn't we? Here we go. Place your bets. We've got five. Five possibilities. Who would I like... Who would, I, who would I like it to be? Um, I don't want it to be anybody. I guess. I guess I just want uh, whichever one is the one with the book. I can't. I can't remember. It's one of the one of the professors, isn't it? Let's see who. Let's see who we've lost. Oh, it's Barmitage. It's, it's Henry. It's Henbo. Oh, Barmy Army. Arms and legs. Doctor Ha Ha has gone. Right. Okay. Never mind. Um. I mean, we've we've seen in pretty much every scenario. Right. This this. This is going to be ridiculous, right? Check out, check out my allies that I've got in this deck now, really. So, I've got Duke. I've got <laughs> Peter Sylvester. I've got uh, the Red Glove Man, who was my second to next card. I have also got Big Z, Earl Sawyer, Professor Warren Rice. And Francis Morgan. I have got a band of seven mates. We are S Club Seven. Look at us all. We're so awesome. Who do you think? Oh, are you, yeah, you have like, like a little sitcom involving these guys. Who would be really good mates out of this lot? Oh, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, but there we go. That was a, that was a success. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling because I don't really know what else to say. That, that just sort of went all right. Um, so, yeah, good. If you haven't checked out the Zoe play, that's far closer, far more dramatic. Uh, but OK, on we go. So next stop will be um, Undimensional and Unseen. Ah, now we do lose something because we don't have um, Armitage. Don't, there's something we don't get. I've got a horrible feeling it might be the Powder of Ingazi, uh, which would suck. Um, but hey, we got we, we just got some mates. Even, even if we don't do well, well, we've got, we've got we've got friends we can hang out with. Right, okay, cool. Um, there we go. I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice uh, have a nice couple of weeks, everybody, and uh, stay safe. And uh, yeah, I will see you uh, there. Bye bye. Cheers. Cheers.